USS Narwhal successfully destroyed a pack of three advanced Soviet submarines in the GI-UK gap. After this, new orders came down from Com Sublamp, ordering USS Narwhal to attempt to intercept a wolf pack of Soviet cruise missile submarines that are attempting to break out into the North Atlantic. If they manage to break out into the Atlantic, they will most certainly cause issues for NATO supply convoys. Narwhal proceeded to the waters just north of the UK, and on November 27th at 2100 hours, we made contact with a submerged contact. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Cold Water series in the 1984 NATO campaign. We are currently sitting at 150 feet, deploying our tow terrain, and here we have Sierra 1 off to the northeast. And looks like it is going to be a surface ship. Let's drop down to 5 knots. And there is no layer today, so this will be a little interesting. Constant That's for sure. And here's Sierra 2. two. Four, five, All right, let's go ahead Sierra and two. try to identify Sierra 1 here. Looks to be a fishing trawler or some sort of surface ship. Yeah, indeed it is a surface ship, so we are not going to concern ourselves with that. Sierra 2, however, seems to be a submerged contact. Let's see, a Tango. Con sonar, Sierra. It's possible she is a Tango. Submerged submarine. Yeah, I think Tango fits that profile rather well, so she is our target. I'm not sure if she is operating all by herself. Let's try to work on our solution. It is currently at 34%. Well, my sonar operator proved me wrong, and it looks like Sierra 1 is classified as this type of merchant here. Still no factor, though, and not really a concern. Our solution on Sierra 2 is only at 60%. However, we are starting to get a pretty good beat on her now. Probably just use some time compression. It looks like it is just Sierra 2 lurking out here all by her lonesome. And there we go. We have a solid solution here. She is making a turn to the southeast, which... Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's fire. Shooting tube 1. Shooting tube 1. She sent out an active ping, and she is counter-launching. Alright, well, that makes things um, kind of exciting, doesn't it? Alright, our torpedo is going to run for the target. Let's increase speed to 15 knots. Uh, actually, belay that. Drop down to 350 feet. And it looks like she just launched one torpedo at us. What's her depth? Her depth is pretty similar to ours. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like she has increased speed considerably. She's moving at 15 knots and hauling it out of here. Or at least attempting to. Okay, let's go ahead and scare her a little bit more. Let's activate our Mark 48. I should be able to pick her up rather easily. What's our depth? Okay. Passing 300 feet. Increase speed to 15 knots, please. There we go. That way we won't be cavitating. As a matter of fact, let's go down to 400 feet. And we will increase speed to 20. Alright, I'll head full. Perfect. Alright, we should be in the clear here. We will maintain this heading. We are making a lot of noise, but still capable of holding a pretty good beat on Sierra 2. Con maneuvering, making turns for two, no need to go active zero, or anything. Nine. And we snap the wire. That sucks, but we will see. Con, dive at four, zero, zero, beat, dive Once we five. evade this uh, enemy torpedo, that then we will fire a second if our Mark 48 does not encounter the target. Yeah, I was kind of worried about the wire breaking, but I'd rather get out of harm's way first. Let's go ahead and begin reloading tube number one. Looks like Sierra 2 is turning around. All right, all ahead flank. Make turns for two, five knots, maneuvering eye. All right, let's remember we don't want to launch a torpedo going flank speed at risk of jamming the tube. Come on. 
Uh, this torpedo looks okay, and thankfully the Mark 48 has a pretty good uh, sensor that's capable of detecting uh, quite a lot. We'll see, th though. I'm not sure if that's going to work out for us. This torpedo is kind of concerning. It looks like uh, the Tango is going pretty deep, too, in a desperate attempt to evade. And we are, we are now going 24 knots. Let's see. Yeah, this torpedo is still running hot straight and normal towards us. Yeah, this may be... This may not be good. It is a little closer than I thought. Drop down to 500 feet. Peak depth 500 feet. Die by. Oh boy. This is kind of tense. The torpedo is still not active. Oh my gosh, our torpedo is homing in on Sierra 2. Thank goodness. All right, let's make a turn. Come left two, 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 six. Helm I. Perfect. I think we're in the clear here. From this torpedo, we'll maintain the speed for a little bit longer. I think. I think this torpedo is going to get her though. Con helm, steady course. Perfect. Con dive at five zero zero feet. Dive by. Torpedo's Con, looking good. She's dropping. Noisemakers, no big surprise there. Pretty much just checking on this torpedo. I think we're good. Let's reduce speed down to 10 knots, please. And now we just wait and see if our Mark 48 is actually going to home in and hit the target. Looks pretty good. Oh, maybe not. Got close. <laughs> okay. Perfect. We are down to 10 knots. Deploy the towed array. It was automatically retracted, of course, when we started moving at flank speed. I have faith in our torpedo, and it looks like the hostile torpedo has activated, but it is behind us and not really a threat at this point. Not too worried about that. We're going to wait and see. Hopefully this torpedo manages to strike home. Ugh, dropping noisemakers, which is quite frustrating. Come on. No. Noisemaker fooled our fish. Well, we'll see. Generally, uh, the enemy can evade for quite a while. I may end up firing a second torpedo. We have seven torpedoes here, so I don't know if I really want to waste two on a, an old diesel electric. This looks like it right here. Come on. Oh my goodness. It just went right underneath the hole. Are you kidding? <laughs> that was so close. Oh my goodness. Uh, too bad there's no magnetic pistols in this game. But that has saved me quite a few times, to be honest. So that's all right. But that was extremely close. We almost had a dead tango here. Well... I will continue to watch our Mark 48 Tango with this Tango. Well, our Mark 48 ran out of fuel, so it is time to launch number two. I was hoping I wouldn't have to. We will keep the wire this time. All right, firing number two now. Shoot tube one. All right, tube one is running out of the tube. The Tango is still actively pinging us, which is mildly concerning. We're going to let our torpedo run for a little while before we activate it. We have a pretty good beat on her location. Let's just mark that position there. And let's adjust course ever so slightly, right please. Two, two, four, eight. Helm, I. There we go. Perfect. All right, and that should be good. Second time's the charm, I suppose. I was really hoping that torpedo would be able to find its target without us having to utilize another one, but... Oh well, it is what it is. This one will surely hit the Tango. Is she cavitating? It looks like she either knuckled or was cavitating there for a second. What's her depth? I don't know, she's pretty darn deep. She's at around 600 feet, so... I doubt she was actually cavitating. Uh, 
Okay, we have acquired the target. Torpedo is running straight for Sierra 2, and we still have the wire. She did not launch again. I think this is going to be all she wrote for Sierra 2. Of course, she fired a noisemaker. Um, that's not going to be much help here. Thankfully, we have a really good solution on the target. Nice and easy, closing in, and right underneath the sail. Impact. And there we go. That is one tango going down. And with that, we are clear to leave the engagement area. One enemy tango sunk. We are down to six Mark 48s, but we are still operational. This was not our mission objective. Somehow, I'm not entirely surprised by that. We have another group of Soviet submarines trying to sneak down here to the south. Let's intercept them, just in case this is our actual objective. New sonar contact, bearing 020, designated Sierra 1, close to... Actually, no, we'll man battle stations, and let's make sure we have... A moth loaded for this engagement. Uh, yep, yeah, all hands man your battle stations. Con sonar new contact bearing zero two zero designated zero one. Signature first off rig for Ring ultra quiet. quiet. There's a moderate duct and a weak layer at 300 feet. Let's check submarines first. Tango. Okay, we're already being actively pinged. I don't like that. Con sonar, new contact okay. bearing three, five, three, Let's check. I have a feeling this is a surface two. ship here. Okay, Sierra 2 is pinging us quite a lot. Okay. Let's see what Sierra 2 is. Obviously a sub. Foxtrot. Yep. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. Now the question is, is this actually a submarine? Tango. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Yep. Okay, she's sitting at around 100 feet. Sierra 2 is beneath the layer. So if Sierra 2 goes active, or Sierra 1 goes active, uh, she's picked us up, but the layer is protecting us from Sierra 2. Okay, this is an interesting engagement already. Do not believe this is our mission objective. So, we're going to fire two torpedoes. One apiece. Set them up to go active. Hopefully we don't lose any wires here though. Let's wait just a little bit. One's operating above the layer and one beneath. That's actually pretty smart. And here we go. Here's a third. Maybe this is our mission objective. Let's see what she is. Golf. No. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing three, four, eight. Contact faded. Hmm. Another Foxtrot. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as submerged submarine. That's interesting. None of these really match the description of our mission objective, but this is a wolf pack of diesel electrics. I was kind of expecting a an SSG or something. Um, okay. We'll work with this. That's okay. We'll see if this tango ends up turning around. And maybe we can reacquire Sierra 2. Okay, this tango is actually mildly concerning. Yep, there she is, just hanging out. She is very quiet too. Alright, reduce speed down to 3 knots, honestly, and let's drop beneath Main the layer 350 feet. Two. Oh, 
Okay, we are now hanging out beneath the lair. We still have tabs on Sierra 1, and it looks like she's making a slight turn to the north. We've just reacquired Sierra 2. Three, four, two. Lovely. Is she beneath the lair? Or, yeah, she is definitely beneath the lair. Wow, she is deep. 900 feet. Do I have this identified properly? Con sonar regained contact and then there's Sierra 3. Sierra 3, bearing 0, 2, 3. Okay, we'll see if we get an opportunity to launch here. Kind of just want to wait until the moment is right. Con, helm, steady course. Of course, I don't want to wait too long, because this may... Launching right now would not be the worst decision ever. But I think we can maneuver into an even better position. Oh, shoot. That was Sierra 2. Oh, they heard us. They got a return, absolutely. All right. Noisemaker, get out of here. See you later. Okay, begin. Okay, come up above the lair. 250 feet. Please, please, please. Let's see if they fire at our moss. Just want to be nice and quiet. Don't want to completely give away our position now. Just yet. It's not pinging now. Con, dive at two, five, zero feet, dive by. Uh, now this tango can hear us. Things are just not ideal here. If this tango pings, we're screwed. You know, I think, given the current situation, it may be best for us to go ahead and fire. Okay, yep, we'll take our chances. Um, tube one. Yep, there we go. Counter launch, no big surprise. Tube 2, fire. Oh my gosh, that tango is going nuts with the torpedoes. Alright, drop below the layer. 400 feet, please. Begin loading another Mark 48. Are they going? They're going for the, the moss. Oh my goodness, we are so lucky. We are so, so lucky. Actually, okay. Level out, level out, level out. We're okay. All right. Number two will turn towards the Tango, and number one's gonna go for Sierra three. We only have two wires here, so. We do not want to fire more torpedoes. We wanna keep our wires and maintain them. Yes, please. I, I am so happy they are going for the decoy here. The Russian torpedoes have activated, and they are definitely going for the Moss. Hopefully they just keep on shooting past and don't pay us any mine. That would be great. It looks like they will do that. Doesn't look like they're doing a zigzag search pattern or anything like that, so we are in luck. We got pretty lucky there. Both torpedoes are still heading towards their respective targets. We'll change the course of Tube 1 just a little bit. And that's more, that's a better intercept course, I think, so far. Okay, things are getting interesting. Okay, our torpedo has acquired the Tango. Sierra 2 just fired a torpedo in our direction, which I am not a fan of, uh, to be honest. So once we take out this Tango, we will fire another torpedo pretty much immediately towards Sierra 2. That torpedo is heading straight for us, though, so that is um, mildly concerning. Let's guide our Mark 48 in. We have a 100% solution. There we go, weapon acquired. 
Oh, it looks like uh, our other torpedo acquired a target. There we go. Impact. Sierra 1 is going down. All right. Contact breaking up. Tube 2, fire. Two, three. Uh, tube 3, excuse me. Okay, tube 3 is away. Let's increase speed to, oh, let's say 10 knots for the time being. I want to avoid a wire break. Let's start reloading. Okay, other Mark 48 is heading towards Sierra 3. Once again, our we have a 95% solution on Sierra 3. Amazing how quiet the narwhal is. Now we are able to maintain contact with all these guys, really. What's their speed? They're moving at 16 knots. They're definitely trying to evade at this point. And I guess my primary concern now is that torpedo that was launched by Sierra 2. More noisemakers. Not surprising that they are just dumping those in the water. Let's see here. Okay. Torpedo has acquired. Looking good, looking good. Everything's looking good. So far, we've had very clean runs relatively in the narwhal. And here we go. Lush. Got him. Right near the sail. Okay, let's have this torpedo, let's adjust its settings. We'll have it squiggle and do a zigzag search pattern and we're gonna want it to go deep uh, once it activates. As a matter of fact, let's have it activate now. There we go. We'll actually have it run that way. All right, and we are going to retract the toad array and increase speed to 20 knots. Whoa, okay, never mind, never mind. 15 cavitate. knots. We do not want to cavitate. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, five. All right, we'll nine. maintain 15 knots here. Let's reload our last Mark 48 in stores, apparently. Okay, I am concerned about that torpedo. Let's see. Let's get above the layer. That may that may help. Let's come up to 250 feet. Two, five, zero feet dive Hopefully on. we don't start cavitating by doing that. I think we'll be okay though. Here's that torpedo. Yeah, that's coming right for us. Ooh, not a fan. Try to keep the wire, but if necessary, we will go flank speed, lose the wire. That's all right though. Let's deploy the tow array. Okay, the enemy torpedo is active. Let's see what's it up to. Okay, it is rocketing up towards the surface. Okay, well, in that case, let's drop back down. Please, tube one is ready. Good, good, good. Everything's looking good here. Let's adjust our torpedo's track ever so slightly. Sierra 2 is attempting to run away. Once we drop down to 500 feet, we want to increase speed further. And uh, if need be, I'll follow up with another torpedo on Sierra 2. Because I don't think we're going to be able to overshoot this torpedo by too much. It's going to be a little close for comfort. Okay, increase speed 20 knots, please. Turns four, two, zero, nine. There we go. Maneuvering eye. There we go. That's good. All right, I'm content with this. I think we'll be all right. Con, fire control. <laughs> Darn it, lost a wire. Con, okay. Maneuvering, making turns for well, two, we'll see. Zero, It'll be up to our nine. torpedo. Once we have evaded this torpedo, I will launch another Mark 48. Okay, good news. Our Mark 48 has acquired Sierra 2, despite not having a wire. Uh, this torpedo seems to have passed right behind us, so it is not a problem. Let's reduce speed down to 15 knots, adjust course slightly, and prepare to shoot tube one. I'll have it go deep. And we probably don't need two torpedoes to do this, but last time uh, the enemy submarine had a 
easy time evading our fish, so I figure we we'll might as well just shoot another one. Although, oh, come on. Come on, torpedo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, that's frustrating. Got really close, but no cigar. Okay, we're steadying up on course. Reduce speed to 10 knots, and then we will fire. Oh, part of me wants to kind of give it a little bit of time, but... Oh my gosh, it looks like this torpedo has acquired our moss. All right. Tube one. Fire. See you later. Second time's a charm. That leaves us with only two torpedoes. So we probably should re RTB after this. All right, we'll turn our fish towards the target. All right, our second torpedo is heading towards the target. Torpedo number one got a little distracted by our decoy and is now circling off in the middle of nowhere. So uh, this one will have to finish the job. It's a good thing I decided to fire a second torpedo. Anyway, it looks like the Foxtrot's trying to evade. Dropping down. What's her current depth? Yeah, she's pretty deep. She's at around 800 feet now and going even deeper. Oh. Did not mean to hit the time compression button, but unfortunately that's not going to save her now. Torpedo is looking pretty good here. And Consular impact. Contact. Sierra two. Last bearing two. Nine, four. Fantastic. See you later, Sierra two. And with that, we are clear to leave the combat area. Let's leave combat, two Foxtrot sunk, and one Tango. I'm wondering if this was our mission objective. I'm not too sure. Continue. Not our mission objective. Okay, well, we need to head back to Holy Lock. Please, come here. Okay, here we go. Days at war. It's only been three days, and we have destroyed 65,000 tons of enemy shipping. Okay, let's continue on, and oh no, this doesn't look like good news. Norway invaded. Um, that's less than ideal. And what NATO officials immediately evaluated as a major offensive against Norway, Warsaw Pact tank and motor rifle divisions rolled across the country's border at several locations during the late night and early morning hours. Okay. Uh, rearm and repair, we just want to... How many mosses do we have? Let's load two in. Let's just load up on Mark 48. So we'll be in port for 11 hours. Okay. We're not going to load up to full capacity, but cast off. And we'll move up to see if we can intercept our mission objective. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.